Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. All right, you guys, I am back with the first impressions for indie patterns. If you've been following along, we are up to August's releases. And another huge shout out to Helen's Closet, who is, um, who basically I'm just cheating and I'm using her blog, uh, called her post called Wednesday weekly, where every single week on Wednesdays, she posts, uh, what new indie patterns came out. So I'm using that as my resource. So check out Helen's closet.ca if you are wanting to see these uh, posts and see what indie patterns are released each and every week before I'm able to come on and do a first impression. But we're going to open up all of these from the first week in August. And makes sense that we would start with seam work. Uh, they release two new patterns the first day of every month. And I want to say a subscription is like six dollars or nine dollars or something i have a link in the description box if you want to get your own seam work subscription but this first one is called the kenzie it is a classic pleated skirt simple construction knife pleats fitted waistband and a hem that hits below the knee kenzie works best in medium weight woven fabrics yeah so this is reminding me a lot of those um like accordion pleated skirts where typically you would buy the fabric already pleated like this but this pattern apparently teaches you or has you pleat the fabric yourself which quite honestly seems like a big giant pain in the you know what but it does produce a really cute look i love the pink and orange styling that they're doing and again, remember this was for August. So here in the Northern Hemisphere it was still very much summertime. So this is a very summer, but also traditional, transitional um, garment. There it is. Sizes come in zero to 26. And they're suggesting lightweight fabrics such as Georgette, rayon, crepe, rayon voile. Lawn, chalet, chambray, linen, and flannel, wool, suiting, and rayon twill. Yeah, you really could make this out of just about anything. And then they also have, may not be on this page, but Seamwork does do like a hack for their patterns. I'm not seeing it on this page at all. Um, so maybe they didn't do it for this one. Maybe they did it on this one. Let me see. Is it here? Yeah. A free variation for same work members and you can see it there. So, okay. So it looks like they only do it on one of the patterns each month. All right. So this is the Emmy. Emmy is a modern take on the peasant top trend. Yes. Very trendy peasant tops. While it's simple enough to sew in an afternoon, you'll learn some helpful new construction tips along the way. The unique notch neckline is elasticized and finished with four hook and eyes at the center front. Oh yeah, that's cute. I like that detail a lot. Pick a lightweight flowy fabric and put your trim stash to use by taking advantage of optional ribbon or cording ties. Cute. I also like the sleeve. It looks like it's cut at an angle, which is very flattering. Pick a lightweight flowy fabric. Oh yeah, we already read that. <laughs> Sorry. Main fabric, light to medium weight woven fabric such as cotton lawn, cotton wool, cotton gauze. Yeah, gauze would be pretty. That's probably what you see most peasant tops out of. Chambray, Swiss dot, linen, round chalet, round crepe, and silk. Yeah, all really good options. This is pretty cropped. This is hitting at the high hip. Cute though, right? Yeah, I love that sleeve. Center back seam. Here's the elasticized front with the hook and eyes. This looks gauzy to me for reference. And then there's this version, sexy, where the, they've unbuttoned them all the way. Or unhooked them, I guess. Yeah, this is really cute. Super fun. Let's see what the hack is. Oh, a fun sleeve. Full length bell sleeves would be your hack op option. Also really cute. 
Actually, this looks like gauze to me. A little bit more drapey. Is that a seam there? Is that how they're doing it? I can't tell. Yeah, I think that's a seam right there. So you just cut the original pattern and then add this one on. I mean, kind of a cheater, but still cute. Yeah, so like I said, you get both of these patterns for like $9 or something. So for those of you who are like, oh, I like indie patterns and I want to support them, but they're too expensive. I'm not paying $20 for a top pattern, whatever. These are much cheaper. So check the description box. Um, I might even have a coupon code. If I do, I'll put it there. All right, So How 7 came out with the Underwood tank dress and top. One of the easiest knitwear patterns you will ever sew and wear. Designed with hot weather comfort in mind is the ultimate warm weather travel piece. All versions are sleeveless, fitted through the upper bust, and then flowing into an A-line shape with a deep curved back neckline that falls just above the bra line for a little drama. The long above ankle length dress also features long knee length side vents. There are three options for hem lengths, two options for front neckline depths, and two options for neck and armhole finishing. All right. And they have one of those really hard to use websites, right? Yeah, where I have to click on each one and then scroll up to show you. That's, and it zooms in while you try and do that. Okay. Here's the deep scooped back. I mean, this is very basic. I'm gonna just show you like one of each version. That's a higher neckline, shorter hemline. I mean, yeah, very basic. Here's some of their other photos. Yeah, I mean, not much to it. Which those kind, I mean, I get the simplistic style and I get why people are so attracted to that. It's just not for me. The photos also make this very, look very flattering. <laughs> yeah, it's just a knit tank. All right. Um, let's see if we have anything about sizing nothing on sizing oh here we go sizes double zero to 20. they're calling it advanced beginner that's interesting it's two pattern pieces i guess doing the neckline and maybe sewing with knits make it a little bit more advanced i don't know did they do any fabric recommendations did y'all see that not that y'all can answer back. <laughs> Sorry. Oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Knit fabrics with at least 50% stretch in the width and 20% in length, such as bamboo jersey, rayon jersey, soy or cotton jersey, and some cotton knits. And they give you a little stretch guide that you can take with you to the store. And then you'll need ballpoint sewing machine needles, Fusible knit tape for hems, quarter inch twill tape for shoulders. Yeah. Yep. All right. Next we have Jennifer Lauren Handmade, who does have a really beautiful branding. I think it's really sweet. This is the Sorrel, Sorrel dress. Classic shirtwaist dress, seamlessly pairing vintage elements with modern design with inclusive sizing A to D cups and pockets. So it looks like separate pattern pieces for the uh, cups, which is really nice. I don't know why there's a price range. That's interesting. And, oh, maybe because if you buy it digitally, it's 13 And if you buy paper, it's 18 That's got to be it. Okay, shape with double-ended darts around the bodice. Meaning, like, it opens up here and opens down here. Uh, Sorrel's relaxed silhouette and sleek skirt provides the illusion of a fitted garment with all the comfort of a shift style dress okay simple fold out collar frames the face and grown on sleeves wow yeah this is an interesting take on a shirt dress for sure 
Layer with fitted long sleeves and boots for cool weather or make up in a seasonal double gauze or flowing cotton lawn for lightweight summer garment. View 1 has a separate button placket, great for playing with prints and different fabric layouts. View 2 has grown on button placket, helping keep the design simple and the construction straightforward. Huh, interesting. So you can see that it's kind of like a fake collar, really. It's just like the center bodice kind of folded out into a point, which I don't hate. I mean, you get the illusion of a collar for sure. And then there's not even a set on sleeve. So that's super easy to sew. You get a real good view of the, uh, what did she call them? Open-ended darts here. And then this one is the sewn on button placket. And then here's the other version that has the grown on placket. Same fabric, different colors. Here's some more pictures. I just wish that it was easier to navigate these pictures. I love that they have so many pictures. I hate that you have to keep scrolling up and down to take a look at each of each photo. Okay, we get it, right? Do they show the back? Any oh yeah, here's the back. Let's look at that. Pretty. There looks to also be some kind of really large facing happening, which I like a nice big facing. And then a simple folded up hem, I guess. There's also not a center back seam, is that right? Yep, no center back seam. So that's kind of cool too. I like that. Okay. So yeah, we talked about uh, bust cups, a full set of finished garments included in the instructions, as well as a step-by-step -step guide to figuring out which bust cup size you are. Cool. Confident beginners. It looks more, yeah, I agree. It looks more complicated than it is for sure. The collar is cut in one with the front bodice, yeah. Yeah, and open-ended darts eliminate the troublesome bubble tip that so easily appear with traditional darts. That's true. A wide range of light to medium weight woven fabrics. Choose from cotton lawn, wool, poplin, linen, tinsel, double gauze, rayon, silk, denim, corduroy. Yeah, tons of really good options here. And then you can also see these on real people if you'd like to go take a look at that. Yeah, this is a good one. I like this a lot. This is where I think indie patterns really shine. Um, they can take something that the big four would make very complicated and simplify it in a way that the home sewers can make it look super sharp in a ton, a ton of different fabrics and make it work for a wide range of body types. So, I mean, $13, yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but again, think about the fit you'd get and uh, how many different versions of this dress you can make. Like she said, all those different fabrics would produce a different look. So yeah, I really like this one. All right, uh, Briar Curve Sweater and T-Shirt. The Briar Tee is an older pattern. I don't, does this just mean for plus size? Okay, well, avail yeah, available in curve sizes 14 to 30. So you might already be familiar with the Briar Tee. If not, it is a beloved pattern and now they have extended sizing. So good for them, but we're not going to review that because it's old. Okay. Next we have, what do we have next? I've got to go back here. Uh, the Wednesday Weekly for August 14th. Let me close out all of these, including this one. Oh, I need them to open in new tabs. All right. So we've got... A handful of other patterns to look through. A 
Okay. First one is So Altered Style, the Misty Top and Dress. It's a simple garment that packs a big punch with a deep v-neck and multiple strap and length options. Misty is equally at home on both the playground and at a dinner party. Views A and B feature crisscross spaghetti straps and a low back as either a hip length top or a dress. View C and D feature thick straps and a higher back perfect for everyday wear, also either as a top or dress. Neckline and armholes are finished with full facing for a sleek look. Bust starts included, bust starts and included A, B, and C, D cup bodice pieces help streamline fitting. So they have two bust cup sizes for you to choose from. So that's nice. Um, okay, so this is the front, kind of small photos here. And again, you have to click on each one. That must be the thin crisscross straps, I guess. Okay. Here it is as a dress. This looks a little small across here. Actually looks a lot small across there. I think that facing might be too small. Something's pulling and puckering. There's also a lot of extra fabric on her lower back. Not that I'm criticizing the fit on her necessarily. I just wonder if it's drafted that way. Yeah, even that one looks a little small still. Are we going to get to see the thicker strap one? Is this the thicker strap one? Okay. This is a dress with elasticized waist and like a blouse on type of bodice. All right, let's get to some line drawings. So yeah, we have the crisscross double straps, which is cute. And then you have the version so, wait, no, that's not elastic. It's just a tie and she pulled it out like to make it blousey. I'm confused. Yeah, none of them say elasticized waist. So I have a feeling that it's just like this and then you sew a little tie and then she just made hers more billowy. I guess. Um... Yeah, they don't have notions listed, so. Okay. Let's see what this. So the size chart is zero to 30. So that gives you a hip from 35 to 59 inches and a bust from, it looks like 32 to 58 and a half, depending on your bust cup size. Yeah, the fit issues would make me nervous about this, but I, you know, you should be muzzling anything anyways. So it's just, you know, when someone's marketing something and trying to sell something, I just kind of feel like they should have perfected the fit for these photos. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> okay. So Indie So Kila Tank, again, it's an older pattern that they just, yeah, revamped with 10 new sizes. Okay, well, there you go, little knit tank top. Okay. Now we have the, oh, Oya? Oya? I don't know what language this is, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Want to feel like a million bucks? Yes. The Oya dress is your ticket. The Oya is a, you know what? If you have a funky name like that, it would be helpful maybe in the description to include the, um, is it called? I'm about to say phonical. That's not right. What's the word where it teaches you how to pronounce, pronounce the word phonic something. Okay. Um, just so that we are feel confident in how to pronounce it. Anyways, the Oya is a versatile summer, summery dress with cool lace-up neckline. The unique Oya is designed for structured woven fabric. 
The result is a dress that you can wear to stroll in the park as well as to the office. They could also use a copy editor. The A-line dress is super flattering and easy to wear regardless of your shape. The Oya also comes in options for cup sizes to minimize your need for bust adjustment. So I feel like we're sensing a trend here in that the ND patterns are almost so far pretty exclusively um, have these options. And I feel like the big four is like, look at our special pattern with the bust cups. You know what I mean? But look how cute this is. Super, super cute. And she has this feature where you can easily zip through the photos. This is adorable. This would look really great in a lot of those quilting cottons that you haven't found anything to sew up with. Um, but also, you know, any of those other mid-weight wovens that you have. Look how cute! This looks like a PK fabric, actually. I love PK. That's adorable, you guys. And... People who know what they're talking about when it comes to pattern drafting say that itch to stitches patterns are drafted beautifully. $12, which isn't a ton, um, you know, certainly not the $2.99 that we're getting the big four for, but not $20 either. Okay, so double zero to 20. See size chart tab below for more details. You guys can check that out. Oh, look, you get a discount. If you buy two or more patterns, you get 15% off. Buy three patterns and get 20% off. So there you go. You can save a little bit more money too. They're calling this advanced. I don't know about that. Where are our line drawings? I mean, yeah, there are a lot of seams and maybe the grommets make it a little bit more advanced. Uh, what did we say? Do we have oh fully lined? So yeah, I mean, I don't know about advanced invisible zipper. I feel like I was doing grommets and invisible zippers when I was an intermediate. So if you've done any of that stuff before, grommets are super simple. No need, no reason to be intimidated by those. Invisible zipper, if you've done one of those before, I think you could handle this. I really like this one. I also want to get this one. I like this one a lot. Okay. Now we've got on the cutting floor. This is the Nizar top and dress PDF sewing pattern. Okay. Ooh. This is, does not look good. Loose fitting, little tie front situation happening. But look at this one looks fine. Maybe this stretched out while she was sewing it. Gorgeous princess seam wrap dress with a below the knee link to create a flowy front dress. The pattern also features a front and back V neckline with asymmetrical sleeve cuffs to add a unique design to a great staple dress. There's also an A-line top included that features the bean neckline and princess seam style with no wraps around the waistline. Okay. That looks very large on her. Please select your top or dress with this chart. The patterns have three inch ease at bust point. Wow, that is roomy. I do like the princess seams a lot. I wish they would just show this version and not the green one again. <laughs> uh, light to medium weight woven, coordinating polyester thread, quarter yard of fusible interfacing, advanced beginners. Yeah, that's a really cute top. That's a fun, that's a fun little top. from uh, the fully graded in sizes four to 22. All right, that's a very interesting way to present a new pattern, but yeah, it kind of leaves a lot of questions still, but the top gives me hope. I do like this little slit thing for your arm. That's really cute. And if it fits like this and not like this, 
I'll be good. And maybe consider, I mean, I get that the bust is got a lot of ease to it, but the shoulder should still be sitting on the shoulder, no? I mean, I feel like this one does. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit long on the shoulder here too. So maybe that's something to look into, the shoulder length when you're making yours. Did we see line drawings? Oh yeah. It's hard to tell there what the intent is. So, did they even show how much this costs? Where do you even go to buy it? Huh. This is weird. Oh, it's DG. Huh, okay. Um, is it in here? Oh yeah, here it is. These are ten dollars sixty cents. Okay, this might be a better place for us. Still have the same photos. Okay. All right. Anyways, ten bucks, and you've got it. Same information as the blog post. Okay. We're not gonna do underwear, mostly because I have never sewn underwear and I don't really know how to critique an underwear pattern. So, but if you're looking for some new underwear, what is this even? Primrose Dawn, sunflower panty. Same thing with bathing suits. This is the EV one piece, super cute. A lot of bums. All right, so then that takes us back to Helen's closet for the third week of August. Let me close all these out again. And open this. Let's see what we got in August. Still a lot of dresses, but I think I see a coat in there. Yeah, a little bomber jacket. Oh, Lord help me if this is a bomber jacket that has a button front. I will buy it right here on while I'm recording. <laughs> okay. This is True Bias Calvin wrap dress and top. It's $14. Wrap dress and top with exposed bias binding that extends into long ties to form a bow closure. That's pretty. It has rings and sliders which create adjustable shoulder straps. That's nice. View A is a short top that hits approximately two inches below the natural waist. Oh, that's a short top. View B is a straight dress that hits at mid calf. Lightweight to medium woven fabrics that press well, such as linen, chambray, rayon chalet, silk crepe to sheen. Good luck with that, making bias tape and cotton. Coordinating thread, hand sewing needle, bra ring and sliders, a snow ones. I sew on snap. Oh, good. Here's the back. Cute. I think there's a nice bust dart there. That's a little longer than two inches below the natural waist, don't you think? I don't know where she thinks the natural waist is. Yeah, slim fitting. And it looks like 32 inches up to 44 and a half inches on the bust. And then the hip is 34 to 46 and a half. So I barely fit into her chart. For reference. She's calling it intermediate. All right. Now let's get to the bomber jacket. Dang it, it zips up. What does a girl have to do to get a freaking button up bomber jacket? And I know you're thinking, yeah, there's got to be one. I have searched high and 
low and I cannot find one. It's really annoying. So I might have to just do my own pattern alteration, which is annoying. Oh, Amelia is a cool classic yet sporty bomber jacket. The jacket has zippers set in sleeves and pockets in the side panel seam. The collar, hem, and cuffs are in rib fabric for that cool sporty look. The jacket has facings and a lining. Okay. Well, it is super cute. The back is also cute. I'm loving that it's for a woven, which I can't recall if that's special or not, but <laughs> either way, it does look cute. Here are some tester versions, which you guys also have been commenting that you really love to see the um, patterns on real bodies, which I totally agree. Indy definitely has that down. Look how cute that one is. That's fun. It looks like they're not using ribbing for the neckline and cuffs and the hem band. They're just using like some kind of knit fabric. So not necessarily a ribbing, just a coordinating knit. This one looks like it got quilted. That's really cool. Cute. Oh, leather, quilted leather. That's fun. A little long in the sleeves which you never know if these people are um, altering it in any way. Lovely. Super cute. She did get ribbing. She purchased ribbing from somewhere. That's how you get that fun little pop. Plastic zipper, which is a nice touch. Yeah. I just wish it had a button band. Hey, that's my fabric. I have this fabric. Um, okay. Yep. Cute. Lots of cool different versions and lots of different uh, fabric patterns, lots of different types of fabrics. It does look like this is providing a bit of a tricky sew for some people. Who else had a pucker? She has puckers. So yeah, it's probably pretty difficult to get that little sharp corner in. All right, so that's fun. Skill level three out of four. It, you're an experienced seamstress and you know how to install a zipper and have tried bagging a jacket lining. So medium weight woven or jersey fabric. Okay. Such as silky silk. <laughs> I've never heard of silky silk. Cotton or linen, French terry, or even scuba. The fabric choice will completely change the look of the garment. Yes, it will. Choose a solid to medium heavy weight one by one rib. Choose a silky lining and interfacing compatible with fabric choice. Okay. And then a zipper, a separating zipper. Fully lined, set in sleeves, pockets in the side seam. Oh, pockets in the side seam. Rib cuff, collar, and hem band, front zipper. And then no information on sizing. So, wardrobe by me pattern. This is Elbe, Elbe Textile Summerfield Coat. Looks to be like a full or a knee length drop shoulder with a little front tie. Doesn't seem to have a lot going on. A mix between a robe and a house coat designed to be thrown over your garment for a bit of extra coverage and style. It has a relaxed fit bodice with a deep V front that ties in the front. Facings with mitered corners on the hem and splits on both sides. There's a 7 8 length sleeves with large hem turn up and a flat front. There's a mid length flare sleeve with a narrow rolled hem flat front and a 7 8 in length <laughs> 7 8 length sleeves with a large hem turn up princess detail design lines with inseam pockets and also a mid length flared sleeves with a narrow rolled hem princess detail design lines with inseam pockets. Okay, got it. Here's some line drawings to illustrate all of that. So 
deep hems here. Mid length. I don't know what flat front means. Oh, flat front versus princess seam. Gotcha. All right. So we've seen that one. There it is again. I don't like the 7 8 sleeve. It looks like they're just too short. There's the mid sleeve. I mean, her eyes are closed in that picture. Um, I do prefer the princess seam, especially that pocket is really cool. I just don't know if I would wear this in my life. I guess it's like a card of coat. <laughs> Who remembers the card of coat? Yeah, I guess if I found the right fabric and the right outfit. Hmm. All right, sizes available A to K, which means nothing to me. And then A and B are drafted for an AB cup and C and D are drafted for a CD cup. That's not fair. I want the pocket of this, but my boobs are too small. Oh, that's annoying. Five to four to five inches of ease factored in for a sleeker fit. You may prefer to go down a size. It's recommended to make a twall, blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, oh, here's the A to K. So it looks like 31 inch bust up to 51 inch bust or 52 and then your hip is 34 to 54 that's pretty good finished garment measurements sleeve lengths biceps all of that are provided that's really nice indeed does a good job of the finished garment measurements all right now we have rad patterns body confidence pattern there is literally no information. But here are some photos. Oh, here we go. I guess all the information we need is right here. So extra, extra small up to 6X. That's a bust of 30 inches up to 77 inch bust. I don't think I've seen a size range like that ever. The hips are 33 up to 80. I am feeling some body confidence, that's for sure. So you have a below the knee length, above the knee length, t-shirt length, crop length, mini dress length, tunic length, and then you have one, two, three, four, five sleeve length options. And then you can also do it plain or do the like contrast color block. And then that's what the fabric requirements. So here's the color blocking. Where? Okay. So that's the color blocking. The neckline looks great. That must be the mini dress, I guess. There's the crop. That's the long sleeve knee length. I like that. Oh, she color blocked with just like a, a different, like tone on tone, different sheen. Cute. Yes, girl. This one's also cute. I like the gray and the maroon. Yes, <laughs> look at all that body confidence. That might be the tunic length. Cute black Santa. Fun, fun. That's a cute little t shirt.
I like that. I like that where the pattern is the color blocking. That's fun. Cute. There it is tucked in. Also cute. Oh, look. Sleeves and the little contrast band. Contrast sleeves and um, neck band. That's cute. Fun. That's like a lace inset. These are all so fun. Look how creative people can be. I wouldn't have thought of like half these ideas. Is that velvet? Good for her. That looks like scuba knit. I don't know how many of these pictures there are, but we can go through all of them, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it ever ends. For as much as I complain about Big Four never giving us enough pictures, especially simplicity, this might be too many. You guys get the idea, right? We've seen a ton of different versions of this at this point. Oh, is that the end? I think I reached the end. All right, so there you go. Body confidence from, bat, from rad patterns. All right, now we have the Anna Allen Demeter dress and top. The Demeter dress and top has four different variations to choose from. All views pull over the head with no closures. View A is a loose-fitting dress with short set-in sleeves, bust darts, and a slight empire waistline at the front that dips back down to the natural waistline at the back. The skirt is gathered to the bodice, inseam pockets, and a deep hemline. View B is similar to view A, except it has no sleeves and one inch less wearing ease in the body, as well as a longer skirt length by three inches. View C and D are the companion tops to A and B. Okay. So it's like a high-low waistline and a high-low hem. Double zero up to 22. That's a bust of 31 up to 48 inches and a hip of 34 up to 51. And then finished garment measurements, length, circumference, bust, waist, biceps no hip I guess that's the hem the hem circumference not really but that's interesting and then this is what the sewing instructions look like yeah very loose easy breezy that top is adorable Give me all the linen tops. Cute. All right. Very good. Oh, here's one. I guess it's the Demeter, yeah. That's cute, right? Good length on her too. Okay, fun. All right, now we are on to the last week in August. And I will get rid of all of these. Nope, not that. Oh Lord. This, yes. Okay. We've got some pants, another dress, a top and dress and a little accessory. Okay, this is Victory Patterns Sloan overalls. Uh, Sloan brings you two essential garments to spruce up your wardrobe, make a stylish pair of overalls, or exchange the bodice for a curved waistband. Huh. And you've got yourself a pair of high-rise tapered pants. The overalls feature a fitted bodice with princess seams and adjustable straps. Other design features for these two garments include a tapered leg with center seams along the front and back 
that lengthen the silhouette. Front and back patch pockets give a low key vibe and an exposed zipper adds a touch of contrast. Optional tummy stay can be sewn into either version for added additional control, optional top stitching to make them pop. All right. What do I have to say about this? Well, the white ones are cute. Um, you know, we've talked about the, uh, the exposed front zipper before on overalls, and I'm just, I still don't get it. Um, I've seen it on, like, in some ready-to-wear and stuff, and I'm still just, like, not a fan. The princess seams of this, making it kind of fitted, is an interesting choice. Yeah, you can wear it without a shirt. Exactly. It's like a sweetheart neckline, bustier top, kind of. And then the front seams on the leg and the back seams on the leg, it's just really tough for someone who's kind of curvy to pull that off because if the lines aren't straight, then I think it can make you look wider than you really are. Here are the pants, which... That closure, I'm not a fan of that. Where you still see the zipper tab. Mm -mm. <laughs> but yeah, just the more lines that there are to make it look wavy. And look, the back, the waistband's dipping down in the back, which doesn't give me any confidence for my curvy booty. Um, but the more lines that there are to kind of wave around the more trouble I think that I will have personally. And I just don't really love a tapered leg. But otherwise, I mean, the fit looks really good on their little fit models. And I appreciate the carousel where I don't have to touch anything. I don't have to click on anything. Um, let's see if we can read this. The bust goes from 32 to 46 and a half. The hips go from 34 to 48 and a half, so I barely fit in. And then they even give you thigh measurements. I don't know what my thigh measurements are off the top of my head. No, no, no. Go back. Oh, no, I'm real annoyed. Okay, there we go. Um, and then finished. Yeah, I mean, let's see um, about the grading. So I would be, I really can't read this. That didn't get any bigger. Um, I think I'm a 10 bust. Oh, I guess we should be up here. I'm probably a 6 bust. A... I think that says 34, 16 waist and 16 hip. Like who's going to grade one, two, three, four, five sizes between their bust and their waist? Yeah, that's not happening. So the pants would work because I actually fall in the same size range for the waist and the hip. Just not for this fitted thing but in the in the finished garment measurements I fit into a well I don't know what the ease is so anyways there you have it not so much for hourglass but I appreciate what they're trying to do for the bottom half all right now we have the Sew so this pattern, Betty Wiggle and Beverly Swing Dress. Fun names. Oh, they give you prep time and sewing time. That's interesting. The Betty Wiggle and Beverly Swing Dress patterns are both ideal for an intermediate sewer or more advanced beginner. Both of these patterns are vintage inspired with options of either a pegged pencil wiggle skirt. <laughs> Is that really what it's called? With a vent at the back seam or a fuller three-quarter circle swing skirt. The bodice is a very flattering wrap style with pleats and a midriff panel, which gives an hourglass look to any body shape. Both versions sit just below the knee and can be shortened or lengthened easily at the hemline. 
6 to 18 Australian standards. Skills include zipper, understitching, pleats, vent. Okay. All right. So, yeah, a little wrap top with some pleats. It looks like two, four front darts and four front or four back darts, which is nice. A little grown on sleeve. There's the little vent. And then here's the one with the fuller skirt. And then, okay. All right, let's look at some pictures. Is that what this is? Nope. Nope. Oh, Lord, help me. Can you go through the pictures this way? Nope. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Cute with a little border print. There's the fuller skirt. Oops. Close up of the neckline, close up of the side seam. <laughs> okay. I mean, they aren't the best pictures to see what's going on, but yeah, I'm wondering what's happening in this, this part here. If there's a facing or if it's just turned under, I don't know. All right. Betty Wiggle. All right. Now we've got another one from DG Patterns. This is the Valerie top. If you click this, does it take you to the Etsy store? Yes. Okay, good. Learn that the hard way. All right. Valerie top and dress. A fitted knit dress with a boat neck style and two drop sleeve options. An elbow length and a short sleeve style. The dress and top also features a below the knee length. Lightweight to medium weight knit fabric such as cotton, jersey, bamboo knit, ponte, rayon, double brushed, poly, Liverpool knit, PK knit. Patterns have one inch of ease at bust point for the top and dress. All right. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Similar to that one that we saw that had all the tester options and the very extended size range. That's fun. So 31 to 48 and 35 to 52. That's nice. Valerie, okay. Cute. And finally, we have the Paladin pouch from So Sweetness. Okay, so she's a very reputable bag pattern designer. So this pouch features a zipper that opens to three inner compartments. That's cool. All contained with one top zipper. It comes together quickly and makes a great gift. Cool. Let's look at her photos. Cute. So it's kind of like an accordion on the side. That's fun with the two little box plates on the bottom. I am a sucker for organization. So I think having the three different compartments would be really helpful to keep things organized and separated. I wouldn't use it as a purse necessarily, but I would use it as a bag inside my purse. <laughs> and then she also has an online workshop, a YouTube video that you can purchase with the pattern. An online workshop is available to purchase for this pattern. Watch the trailer below. All right, very cool. Super fun. All right, so I think that that does it for, I don't even know how I did this. Um, for August, right? Yep. The next ones start with September. So we have the big four is rolling out their winter and holiday patterns. So 
As those come out, they will be sprinkled into First Impression Friday. And then on weeks where we don't have a new release from Big Four, I will be coming back to do the indie patterns for the month. So September, I think Simplicity is coming up like this week. And so that will get precedence over September's um, indie releases. I hope that makes sense. But like I said, check out Helen's Closet if you want to see what has come out um, in September and October so far. And I guess that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.